it's time now to talk about the Legends subgroup. Deborah Kimberling is the lead. Other members of the team are Seal Craig, Jan Williams, and Yvonne Sims. Deborah, tell us about how it is that Legends got started, why it started, and what you're trying to achieve with the Legends subgroup. Uh, thank you, Vicki. The Sweet Legends first came about uh, at the time in 2016 timeframe when the Pioneer documentaries first started coming out, the hidden figures, the computer wore heels, and I had the opportunity to go and research one of the Swiss San Diego chartering members, Alice May Anderson, and it was a flare of the excitement and the journey of discovering the achievements of this woman who seldom talked about herself or what she did uh, in the world for uh, humankind. Today, for the Swede legends, we're trying to capture these early Swede pioneers to provide more visibility and offer them as role models for the rest of the population. For the Swede legends work group, our first task was to identify which uh, are the first pioneers that we wanted to document. We thought that we couldn't uh, go wrong if we started with SWE's earliest recognitions through the Achievement Award winners. It is SWE's highest honor that they give out, and we've been offering this recognition since 1952. So we created a a working list of the uh, Achievement Award winners, and we wanted to do a, a case study to understand what we were getting into. So we pulled the first seven Achievement Award winners, uh, went through to find their Wikipedia pages, uh, to find out what information was about them, and to see how complete their profiles were. In this first study, we discovered that three of the uh, Achievement Award winners weren't even in Wikipedia. Two of them had zero online presence. We couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, the remaining four, only one of them even mentioned the Achievement Award, and the other three were definitely lacking in terms of what they had accomplished within their work than their uh, companies and uh, what they what they did. Why were they even being recognized uh, as an Achievement Award winner? Fortunately, we had a, a mentor uh, step up. Jill Teachin uh, decided that she could help introduce us to the archivist, uh, the sweet archivist, who was able to find information on all of these Achievement Award winners. She sent over lengthy PDF files about how they were first recognized and the information and contributions that they had. And uh, some of our team members have now taken on their first legends to document and write up into Wikipedia. Some of the early wins that we've had is that the uh, documentation on our Achievement Awards winners used to be just a, a name and a date. And so the archivist was able to go into the Engineering Technology History Wiki, and she has compiled a complete list of all of the Achievement Award winners that includes their award citation and their contributions in terms of engineering and innovations. And so if you're looking for an early pioneer in any particular field, that information is now there. And uh, to get my feet wet on my first Wikipedia edit, I've actually gone into the Society of Women Engineers Wikipedia page and I have gone into the awards section, and now it's got a nice reference that sends it to this complete list of achievement award winners. Once we're done with our case study and we get all seven candidates into Wikipedia, 
we feel that we will have gained enough experience that we can start including more volunteers into the legend sub work group so that we can tackle hopefully all 70 of the achievement award winners and um, then continue on and figure out who we will recognize next, how we will provide visibility for these early SWE legends uh, through marketing materials with SWE uh, and maybe social media posts. Uh, we're still considering uh, our avenues that we can go there. And of course, we would like to extend an invitation to anyone who is interested. Uh, they have a flair for the historical research writing. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, you learn a lot about these pioneers. And it's a way of giving back and providing visibility, not just for SWE, but for women in technology and engineering in general. I will be at the We Local Seattle conference uh, presenting on how to write some of these citations in a presentation called Out of Focus, Revealing Women's Achievements. And hopefully I'll be at uh, We 23 in Los Angeles as well. So if you'd like to join us, please reach out to Vicki, our website, or uh, stop by at one of these sessions. We'd love to have you join us. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Deborah. That was excellent.